Chris Walker coming at you from beautiful Hawaii, Big Angie Fan Channel. Uh, I'm trying a double experiment here. One is doing this outdoors in very windy conditions, and the second is doing it uh, as a uh, about a third or fourth listen. Uh, this uh, Angelina Jordan came out with a new uh, Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey cover uh, just today. And this is one of those cases where I did my first listen to it, and uh, I got to admit, I was somewhat disappointed. But um, as I have said other times, she has so many nuances in her voice, and she's so much, like, different from what you would expect conventionally, that often uh, the songs really grow on you. There's many songs that didn't start out impressing me that much and then grew to be, you know, among my favorites even. So uh, let's see what happens with this one. And I'm going to show some uh, of what I had recorded earlier on my first reaction. And now I have listened to it a couple more times and it's already going on me. And so now this is a reaction with, without that expectations inhibitor in there. So windy today. I think my microphone is secure under my shirt here. But all right, so let's check this out. Okay. So I'm gonna hit play here. Yeah, I'm trying to pay a lot more attention to the sound than the visuals this time. I think that was one thing that was uh, making me feel disappointed the first time was this angle where like there's more room behind her than in front of her, which is not normal for a video, and that her face was often covered by the, the screen in front of the microphone. I'm wondering with her mouth a little bit hidden by the screen again, shades, shades of uh, Born to Die, if that might be one reason why she was seems to have even been unaware that this was coming out you know she didn't mention it on her on her facebook or instagram or anything so i'd like to hear more about the story of that but just paying more attention to the sound yes it's already it's very ethereal uh really delicate it's a classic example of where you want to be listening very closely and all the little nuances come out Soft and bruised and vague 
Yes, so the original video that I had listened to, again, was setting expectations. I know that Angelina Jordan changes things up, but this is such a, you know, radically different version. You've got to let go of expectations and not like... I think that's why a lot of people, when you play Angelina Jordan and they haven't heard her before, that's one of the reasons why some of them will say, well, what's the big deal? You know, she's not belting it out. It's... Uh, you know, and there are just, uh, you know, pop music, there's certain things that are expected. People are waiting to hear that they don't hear. Yeah, that was a quieter version than I was, than I was expecting. It didn't quite bring the tears. But if you let go of that, I mean, there's all of these little, it's, it's very, uh, I think I used the word ethereal. There's a part coming up here that I remember on subsequent listenings that really impressed me a lot. Okay. Whoa, it is so windy. I hope I can end up using this. Yet no I'm standing here. My heart's so full I can explain. Seeking faith and speaking words I never thought I'd say. That part right there. Yeah, right. Can be miracles Yes, it's definitely growing on me. Um, as I said in my first listening, it seems like maybe she didn't really intend this to come out, uh, especially because of the angle. Um, but it's still, it, it's very lovely. I still wouldn't call it among my favorites, but it, it is growing fast. And it's the kind of thing where it really, really requires you, I think, to get the full benefit of it. To be, have a good set of headphones and just let those little nuances in her voice wash over you. Uh, just a you know, very artistic rendering. And that's the thing, she's always, um, it's not what you're going to expect sometimes. It's often not kind of a powerhouse. She had, does have many powerhouse songs, but often it's just this very gentle thing and very intimate. She was pulling you in. You, like I was going like this because I really wanted to hear it well. So I'm just thrilled that she's coming out with so much um, material now. Maybe we are going to, I don't think we'll see a, a summer record release now that the concerts have been canceled, but maybe a Christmas time release with a, a you know, Christmas concert tour. So, good luck, Angelina. And I just love those. Uh, the way that there's always a new layer revealed. I've listened to this a few more times today. So this has been Chris Walker, Big Anti Fan Channel, here in windy Hawaii. Doing Angelina style, barefoot. <laughs>